بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم by the name of Almighty God the most compassionate and the most merciful I welcome all of you my dear friends from all over the world uh, by the way today we are talking about discovery of protons and uh, so neutron uh, a scientist by name of Ijan Goldstein Goldstein he put it some gas and this is a tube which J.J. Uh, Thompson indeed discovered the uh, cathode rays, it means electron. When the electron discovered, uh, indeed these cathode rays um, led the path in order to discover that there is another charged particle in an atom. Why? Because if we see to the structure of the atom, atom indeed it is neutral. When there is a charge which is negative it means there must be another charge with positive that the summation of this positive and negative it should be equal to zero it means neutral for this result Eugen Goldstein he indeed this side with a fluorescent material he caught this side with a fluorescent material and you know that this plate indeed it is connected with a battery with a high voltage this side is negative and this side is positive and we have some holes here in previous lecture J.J. Thompson made some hole in the positive side. Now we make some holes in negative side. And we have here the gas, not with low pressure. In previous lesson, there was a ray which was going from negative side to the positive side that was called cathode rays. Right now, there are some rays which are going from negative, from positive side to the negative side, and this ray is called canal rays. Canal rays, it means if we have an atom and we want to remove its electron, maybe one, two, three, or four. Now, the remaining atom, it's an ion with a positive charge it means it's a plus now a plus is going from the positive side to the negative side through these vacuum holes now this canal rays are going from positive side to the negative side and we in here discover some spots in this fluorescent material the characteristic of these canal rays, it means of these ion, it means of these um, A plus, is the same with the uh, with the with the what with the electron. It means it has kinetic energy. Yes, they are going through a, a straight line path. Yes, it's right. But what are the difference? The difference is. First, the ratio charge to mass, it is not constant. This is the first difference. Why? Because if we put in here sodium, now what sodium? Sodium, it means it has 11 protons, it means positive charge, and also it has got 11 electrons. Now, if I remove one electron, the sodium becomes sodium plus. Now, if you put in here sodium, and by removing one electron, this sodium plus is going to the left side. It means to the negative side. Now, the sodium has got a charge. The sodium has got a mass. The division of the sodium charge and the mass, 
it is a number. When we take another atom by name of lithium, lithium has got three protons and three electrons. Now, if you remove, if you remove one electron, this lithium becomes lithium plus, and it is going from positive side to the negative side. Now, lithium has got a charge, lithium has got a mass, but what do you think? The division of the charge to mass of sodium and the division of the charge to mass of lithium are the same? No. Why? Because we have different in um, mass. Also, we have differences in charge. For this result, the division of E to M is not constant. But, but, in previous lecture, the division of E to M of the electron are same. For this result, it means if I take sodium, if I take lithium, if I take every element, the division of charge to mass of the particle which is removing from the element, it is same. It means the fundamental part of an atom is electron. The fundamental part. But in here, in here, there is no proton which is going from the positive side to negative side. Indeed, no proton is going. But what is going through this path? Through this path, ion is going. It means we have the flow of ion, not flow of protons. Why? Right now we know that in an atom, the positive charge they resides in a special place that we are not able in order to remove these parts. We are not able. And also, if you, if you look to this division, this is nominator and this is denominator. Now what do you think? If the denominator is small, the result will be, the result will be high or low. I think if denominator, if denominator is a small, the result will be much high. For this result, in this division, if we take an element with, uh, with the lightest or smallest mass, this division will be the maximum. Now, what do you think? In all the elements of periodic table, which element is the lightest? This is very important. Very important. I think the lightest element is hydrogen. Hydrogen is the lightest. It means it has minimum mass. Now, if this one is small, so the result of E to M of hydrogen will be the maximum. It means E to M is not constant and this for every element is different but it has the maximum value when we take hydrogen. And in case of hydrogen, if you put the gases of the hydrogen in this tube, now if I want to remove, hydrogen has got how much electron? One. Now if I want to remove this electron, this hydrogen becomes, I think, H+, plus, and H+, plus is proton. It means in case of hydrogen, in case of hydrogen and connecting these electrodes to a high voltage by removing of the 
electron from the hydrogen now the canal rays are protons but in other cases there is no proton which is going from the positive side to the negative side I think you have got just in case of hydrogen we have protons the canal rays they are protons this is the um, first, um, I think, uh, difference between the uh, cathode rays and also canal rays. Number second, we have difference in uh, electric field and also magnetic field. We have some difference between the electric field and magnetic field. What do you mean? It means the cathode rays they were absorbed or attracted to the positive side why because they were negative now in this case this ray is positive or negative it's positive it means they are attracted to uh, they are attracting to the negative side it means opposite to the cathode rays hmm? electrons were attracted to the positive plate but protons or canal rays or these ions which are positive these ions which are positive they are attracted to the negative side and also also in electric field the electrons they were attracted to the what to the south pole but these protons or canal rays they are attracted to the north pole this is another difference which we have in canal rays later on uh, i think in 1932 there was another scientist by name of chadwick by name of Chadwick. I don't know the spell is right or not. Okay, whatever. Chadwick, he discovered the uh, neutron. Why? Because in, uh, in 1932, there was a need of another particle which must be an atom. Why? Uh, first, um, if you look to the structure of the atom, we have a nucleus and we have protons we have protons we have protons we have protons now what do you think the protons reside in a small place which is called nucleus according to coulomb force we have f is equal to k q1 q2 divided by d square what is d d is the distance between two positive charge this positive charge, this positive in charge, they attract each other or repel each other. I think they repel each other. Why? Because they are like charge. It means same charge. Now, if this proton and this proton, they are repelling each other. Now, this F, this F is directly proportion with the distance or indirectly proportion. I think indirectly. It means the smallest is the distance the largest is the force now if the if if we have the smallest distance and they are repelling each other then why then why we have this nucleus stable it means that there must be something else also in the nucleus and this Particle, its work or its function is to stabilize the what the neutron. The, I'm sorry, the the nucleus. It means we need, we have a need for what that there should be something else also in the nucleus in order to in order to decrease this force why we have a stable nucleus
But we will talk, inshallah, in nuclear physics or in quantum physics. We will talk much more in quantum physics. But for, for right now, you have to know that in 1932, uh, the scientists, um, they said that there is a need of another particle that it should be in an atom in the nucleus and Chadwick found by bombarding by bombarding uh, of alpha particle what do you mean by alpha particle? it means helium on lithium and he saw that there is another mm, particle which it doesn't have any charge and he named uh, nitro by the way i think you have got uh, what we had in this lecture for today it's sufficient inshallah for the next lecture we will come on uh, i think on J.J. Thompson, Atomic Structure. And we will proceed our lesson, inshallah. Allah Hafiz.